Hey, what's up everyone? Michelle Alexandria here coming at you with another installment of Apple TV Weekly. Maybe I should call, start calling this Apple TV Semi Weekly because I, or whenever I, whenever, or Apple TV 4K, whenever the hell I feel and I update, do I want of these updates? But anyway, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this week's big update. This week we finally got the TV OS 12.0 um patch and i don't know if you have to be part of the beta programming in order to get this or if this is the final release version of this application i think it's the beta version but the big feature is dolby Vic, dolby atmos is now available on the apple tv 4k unfortunately there's only one movie that supports it right now and that seems to be blade runner 2015 2049, but I want to show you um, that it actually, it indeed, it indeed does have, um, and D, 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 I don't know how to say it. I was trying to be funny, but that didn't turn out quite right. But right here under surround sound, you can see auto mode and Atmos is now part of your selection. So you have a convert format, you have this brand new convert format feature. And basically, what it does is it decodes and it decodes and sends your equipment as un, un, uncompressed multi-channel LPCM setting. Only convert formats if you're experiencing playback issues. So, pretty much, it's recommending recommending that you keep this turned off. And then you also have Dolby Atmos here, and I'm kind of excited for this. I don't have a, I no longer have Adobe Atmos around sound, but I will be buying the LG SK9 wide in August. So I will be buying that in the next two months. And so that would be my new Atmos setup. And one of my problems with Adobe Atmos is there's never really been enough content to justify spending that kind of money on Adobe Atmos setup. But now with Apple TV supporting Adobe, with Apple TV supporting so many movies in Dolby Vision, and now adding adding Dolby Atmos to that, that is amazing to me. So um, I already went it, went ahead and tested some of these movies, and yeah, Superman: Dawn of Justice isn't available in Dolby Atmos. Justice League isn't available in Dolby Atmos. Power Rangers isn't available in Dolby Atmos. Even though all of these movies are available in Dolby Atmos on Vudu. So if you, here, let me show you Vudu. Let's go here to Vudu. And if we go over here to Vudu, you can clearly see that my. So take a look in the right hand corner. You see Dolby Atmos and you see the logo for Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision show up. See Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision right there in the corner. Um, and then you also see Dolby Atmos up in the top right hand corner. So here. So you see you see Dolby Vision. Dolby Atmos UHD here on Vudu, but on iTunes, if you play that same movie, um, I think that was Justice League. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna pause this real quick. So again, you only get Dolby Vision, but under the info, you only get 4K Dolby Vision. Now, I think this is because the patch was just released yesterday, so give it about a week or two, and I'm pretty sure a lot of, the, a lot of these movies will be updated to Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos. Right now, the only one that's available in Dolby Atmos, like I said, is Blade Runner 2049. So it's right here. And again, this is the LG OLED 4 Sep B7, so it actually has built-in Atmos. Um, so let's go here. And again, looking in the top right-hand corner, you should see the Atmos logo come up. Oh, wait. I'm watching Justice League again. I don't know how that happened. So let's go here to Blade Runner 2049. So you go to Blade Runner 2049. 
And the one thing that kind of annoys me, and I hope they change this, is that they start grouping movies by 4K, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos once Dolby Atmos comes out. So that way we all know exactly what films are available with the new scent, with the new audio. Because right now, Blade Runner 2049 is in Dolby Atmos. However, if you look up here on the top right hand side, and I wish I could figure out how to just get the mouse to show up on the on uh, my on my remote, but I can't figure that out. But if you look up in the top right hand side under Kodak, on the under the audio Kodaks, you see it doesn't really tell you what auto Kodaks audio Kodaks are supported. And Kodaks, what am I saying? It's been a long day, people, sorry. So you go resume. And on the top right hand side, you should see Dolby. Where is Dolby Atmos? What? Where's the Dolby Atmos? Let's see. Let me go over here and make sure. I'm still playing sound out. It's on, it's on eternal. So that is kind of weird, people. That's kind of weird, people, peoples. Um, so I'm going to come back out here because this worked this morning. It honestly did work this morning. Uh, let me go here. Wait, let me. I'm, I'm sorry about this, but Blade Runner 2049 was in Dolby Atmos just this morning. And this is one of the reasons why I really kind of hate iTunes because you really can't trust it. You can't trust the consistency. So let me try to play this one more time. I'm going to open it up. Let's see. Let's hit the play button. Again, on the right on the right hand side, it should come up as Dolby Atmos and Dolby. So yeah, it's not it's not going to play. But that's irritating because it just played Dolby Atmos this morning. So right now there are no videos that support Dolby Atmos that I could tell right now. But I'm still excited. I still think it's I still think it's going to be a boom to people like me who love 4K Dolby Vision and just adding Dolby Atmos to this on the Apple TV is going to be great considering I have over 150 movies in 4K Dolby Vision. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was that there are some new additions to the 4K catalog, namely Mission Impossible. The Mission Impossible series is now available in 4K Dolby Vision. Um, so all, all the Mission Impossible movies are now received a free upgrade this week. And actually, it received a free upgrade yet this morning because I checked it on Sunday and it was not actually available in 4K Dolby Vision. But now all the Mission Impossible movies are available in Dolby, Vi Dolby Vision. So that's pretty darn awesome. So anyway, I will talk to you guys. Oh, and the fine folks at Lionsgate are sending me a copy of Terminator 2 on 4K. I don't know why or what the point is since it came out last year. So I don't know why they're starting to re-promote this 4K release. Maybe they changed some things, but we'll see. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye!